What must we do to become perfect? Follow Jesus Christ, that is to say, imitate Him, renouncing ourselves, taking up our cross, and walking in His footsteps. These are the words the blessed Basil Moreau, founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross, lived by and followed, as did the devoted men who came after him. Priests like Father Edward Soren, founder of the University of Notre Dame. Father William Corby, famous Civil War chaplain. Father Peter Forrestal, a pioneer in Hispanic ministry. Father Vincent McCauley, African missionary and Bishop of Uganda. Father Theodore Hesburgh, university president and confidant of world leaders. Father Tom Streit, biologist and healer to the Haitian people. These are but a few in a great band of men who have brought light, hope, and love to the people whose lives they touched. These are the educators in the faith. These are the servant leaders. These are the priests and brothers of Holy Cross. Educators in the faith. This simple phrase describes the life work of Father Moreau and the members of the Holy Cross family who followed his path. It also defines the unique charism or shared vision of the Holy Cross congregation. This vision is personified by the work done by Holy Cross priests and brothers in its three fundamental areas, education, parish work, and missionary service. Father Moreau spoke often about approaching one's life work with zeal. Indeed, it is a zealous spirit that drives Holy Cross religious in their ministries. On a cold November day over 150 years ago, Father Soren stood on the frozen plains of northern Indiana. His vision, however, was not of hardship, but of an American Catholic university in the tradition of the medieval universities of Europe. That vision led to the founding of the University of Notre Dame, a literal and figurative landmark of academic excellence. Years later, Portland Archbishop Alexander Christie saw the value of the Notre Dame model and persuaded the Congregation of Holy Cross to assume ownership of a modest university on the bluffs over the Willamette River, an institution known today as the University of Portland. And so from the very beginning, Father Moreau, when he founded the order, saw it as a real significant part of our mission was to, to educate, to, to educate the young people, to train them, because he saw that real need with the schools. So including even when he started sending people out to North America and to Algeria and to Bengal, uh, from the very beginning that was our mission to be involved in education. Obviously we do other things as well. But that component of education as part of Holy Cross has been really part of uh, what we are from our founding by Father Moreau back in the early uh, 19th century. There's always been a commitment at the center to education. And education and prayer and religious life is at the heart of what we do. Of course, the Holy Cross ministry is not limited to higher education. Today, the congregation serves in high schools, as well as Holy Cross parish and mission schools. We care about the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. And uh, that's an essential part of the Holy Cross legacy from Basil Moreau. It was a, a part of the vision of Father Soren here at Notre Dame. Uh, and it's something that all of us very comfortably talk about and try to enact on a regular basis as much as we can. Despite his role on the global stage, Father Hesburgh often said that all he ever really wanted to be was a parish priest. This aspiration is shared by hundreds of Holy Cross priests in their ministries in local parishes. The most rewarding part of uh, being in a parish has been encountering great families and people who are just deeply concerned with forming their families in faith and just bringing their children up with a great uh, Catholic upbringing, loving the Lord and experiencing the sacraments. I think there's, um, 
There's so many, you know, different commitments that pull at families. And uh, I see people in our parish who really have just committed themselves in their lives to saying, you know what, this is what we as a family choose. This is where we spend our time. This is where we volunteer. This is where we um, come and encounter the Lord and, uh, and form communities of people. When Father Soren came to Indiana, he founded a number of parishes in the area. In all, the Indiana province staffs 16 parishes and has a presence in churches throughout the Western United States. Just as missionaries were sent by Father Moreau from France to the United States, the congregation continues its heritage through mission work among communities in Africa, Bangladesh, Latin America, Haiti, the Philippines, and elsewhere. The goals of this work are both basic and profound to make God known, loved, and served, and to boldly address the world's tremendous needs for justice and charity. The zeal by which this ministry is dispensed is obvious in all those who serve. Missionary work is important because it gives a side of the universality of the church that somehow is not, to, oh, not fully experienced just through having diocesan clergy and, not, and through having local religious communities. So as much as people from other lands can come and share the Word of God in lands that are, they're not their own setting, they give a wider picture and the universality of the church, which is important for people to remember. Following in the footsteps of the great band of Holy Cross priests and brothers requires looking ahead to the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. For this reason, the Campaign for Holy Cross was initiated. The opportunities to educate in the faith are unlimited. The only limitation will be the challenge of finding the needed resources. The Campaign for Holy Cross is about the future developing the men who will follow the footsteps of their predecessors and become the next generation of scholar priests, servant priests, and mission priests. The brave individuals who will continue to venture into the unknown and give testimony to God's love. I think that supporting seminary and education is a no-brainer for people. I think every Catholic would agree that we want the best prepared priests possible, priests who are good preachers, priests who are well-trained in theology, priests who know how to run parishes and work in administration in our universities and can work overseas in complicated circumstances. Although Holy Cross is blessed by the number and quality of young men pursuing a vocation, the need for priests and brothers to serve our ministries is great. The province currently expends $2 million annually to provide for the education and formation program, which prepares young men for potential profession of their final vows, a journey that can take up to eight years. I think the success in the talented, the prayerful, and the grounded men that are coming to Holy Cross is that we've stayed true to our ministries. We've stayed true to our calling as Holy Cross of staying engaged in our commitment over 200 years with mission, with education, and parish. So we're very clear. It's not confusing who we are. People know that we're doing education. People know that we are in parishes. People know that we are doing ministry beyond the borders of this country. When Father Moreau founded the congregation, he asked his religious to go wherever obedience calls this call continues to be heard. Holy Cross priests and brothers are actively engaged in missions overseas and in Latin America, an obligation not only for the congregation, but on the resources of the entire community. Well, as a banker, I must say that um, I have a particularly keen understanding of the fact that the congregation of Holy Cross is like a big family. And big families have the same type of issues as ordinary families do. And this particular campaign can assist this big family in living out their calling in life. Uh, the order has challenges just like any ordinary family would have a challenge. 
That is to educate their members, to make sure they're well taken care of in terms of housing, and that they have safe, comfortable retirements, that they're well cared for from a medical perspective. Like many religious communities, Holy Cross is facing the difficulties of an aging population and the unrelenting increases in health care costs. 41% of members of the Indiana province are 70 years of age or older, and their need for care is significant. To be sure, caring for the elder members of the Indiana province involves substantial cost, but one that Holy Cross is committed to providing. These men have given their lives for the benefit of God's children, and they certainly deserve quality care. And someone once said to me that you can tell the health of a religious order by how they treat the youngest members, how they treat the oldest members. And I would say in Holy Cross that the record is very strong. I feel our province and all the provinces are committed firmly to the formation of young religious in the beginning and to take care of the older religious at the end of their lives. The shoes of past Holy Cross religious are imposing and not easily filled. But all those who believe in the values that inspired these great men must likewise be inspired to do what can be done to follow faithfully in their footsteps. Preparing for this journey is not limited to the Holy Cross priests and brothers. The time and treasures of a broad spectrum of benefactors is needed to endow the future of the congregation. To ensure the presence of religious is plentiful and the resources they need to effectively fulfill their missions are available. I believe so deeply in the mission of Holy Cross. I believe that their, the message that they bring, that message of hope, is one that our world needs more than ever. And uh, among the things that I admire so much about the men of Holy Cross is that they are men of action. Um, they are living out that call in community, in their various apostolates, in the generous service that they provide to so many. The name of the campaign is following in the footsteps of this great band of men. But the importance of the campaign is what the great band of men do. And that's their mission. And the mission is the gospel, the building up of the kingdom of God. Um, I love the fact that I belong to the great band of men, um, but what we do is even more important than we are. Educators in the faith is a simple phrase, but these few words are profound in the way they speak to the past, present, and future martyrs, saints, servants, and teachers who are the Congregation of Holy Cross. They are the voices for God's justice. They are the teachers of our children. They are the potential touchstones of social responsibility for world leaders. They are the beacons of hope in places where there are few.